So what is going on people, welcome to episode 37 now, I think, of the Sheffield Wednesday career mode here on EFC 24, hope you're doing well and well today. We've dragged ourselves into potentially European battle. We will find out today whether we truly have what it takes to enter that European battle. So if you are looking forward to this episode, make sure you pop a like on there for me, subscribe to the channel, and well, I'll show you the standings first. We sit 10th currently, 40 points reached, so we've hit the necessary you know, target of survival. We're 17 points clear of relegation now, with 10 games to go. I think it's fair to say we probably don't have to worry about relegation anymore. But we are only 9, well, nine points now, 9 points off of Europe. And we've been in quite good form in the back end of this year, so it's not completely implausible. However, if we have a look at the games, obviously you can see there we start with a game against Norwich, who in 28, 27 games has still only won one game this season. Um, but yeah, there's, if I actually catch you up with the last couple of episodes, so we beat Brighton 2-1, beat Newcastle 4-3, then lost to Wolves. Last episode, beat Leeds 2-0, beat Chelsea 2-1, drew a full and one up. Today we start with Norwich, as we said. Bottom of the table... Should be three points. Should be. But our three games to start April are home against Liverpool, away at the Emirates, and then at home against the Spurs. So we will know by the start of next episode, by sort of, you know, a third of the way through next episode, whether we have what it takes to be genuine European challengers. So, uh, yeah, I'm nervous about this episode. And uh, hopefully it's all going to go well and you're going to enjoy it, whatever happens. Oh, my word. Right, let's see if we can get the easy bit done first. And that is beat Norwich. It should be easy, really. But when with FIFA and with me, you never know. So for this first game of the episode, then, this is how our host Norwich line up. George Long in goal. Back four, Stacey, Berg, Banny and Felix. Sorensen and McLean holding. Fastnacht on the right, Saints on the left. And Matazzo in behind Mariano. So... Looking at the bench, you've got Martigani there. Zolis. Kind of not hard to see why they're struggling, it must be said. We are unchanged, but I'll run through it quickly. Trafford in goal. Back four of Patterson, Cannon, Alvarez and Pires. Berger and Puckstash in the middle. Salah in the 10. Scov on the right. Nino leading the line with Barrios on the left. But yes, this should be routine. Although, we did beat Norwich earlier in the season... And they were actually a lot better than the table suggested. They played a good game. We were just too much for them on the day. But, um, yeah, I feel like with the good form that we're in at this moment, in time, that's an absolutely awful pass. Thankfully, he gets it back. Um, yeah, with the good form that we're in, this should be routine. But we will find out as Salah manages to rob that ball off of Stacey, actually. Try and get a ball in. Try to sort of float it if he could to allow players to arrive. But holding on to the ball nicely. Good spin. Little loose pass though. Or oh, so is that though from Barrios. And it could be in. And that should be at least hitting the target there from Mariano. Really, really poor from us. But it's a let off. There goes the half time whistle. Not the best half from me. Well, certainly from us, it must be said. Norwich could have done better with their chances, so yeah, not the greatest uh, greatest half of football you've ever seen. Nice ball into Barrios and Nino. There's a bit of a gap hit for, for Nino. We'll have the strike. Tries to find that near post, but George Long equal to it. Skov now with the corner. Amy for Fernino. Just gets too much on it, and it's over the bar. Triple change incoming for us as. Uh, Norwich make changes as well. Nino, Skov and Salah coming off. Cantero, Franca and Aspria coming on. Aspria is actually going to play on the wing for a change as we need to get this one away. Cantero and Aspria has made a good run. And Franca has made the run as well. And already these fresh legs look like they could provide a difference. Oh, what a save. Barrios back to Puxtas. Or oh, Spreer. Berger. Franker. 
Cancero is in behind Alandro Cancero. I thought he'd push that into the bottom corner. I'm not going to lie. Sanderberg with the corner. Can we get this ball in? No, we can't. And that is going to be the final whistle. Oh, what a wasted opportunity. That should have been three points. But like I said earlier, Norwich showed that they're actually better than their form would suggest. We just couldn't break them down. But we were lucky not to concede ourselves. So considering we wanted three points, it's not the best start to the episode. So for this second game then, the big one at home against Liverpool, this is how our visitors line up. Alisson and Goal, back four of Anderson Arroyo, Militao, Howarth, the regen, and Owen Beck. Kessi holding with Thiago and Soboslay ahead of him. Ben Doak on the right. Moyes Keane through the middle. And Son on the left. Fatty is there. Gakbo, Yasubal, Alaba. So a few different faces in that lineup. But um, we said against Liverpool last time that they, you know, they looked like they were taking us for granted, especially with the back line. And then they tore us apart. I think they ended up beating us 5-1. So I will keep my lips firmly shut in terms of... Uh, looking like they're taking us for granted uh we are unchanged uh barris has grown up to 78 as well and cantera has actually grown up to 76 i noticed as well so his little good run of form has uh paid off we've signed a couple of kids to the academy as well just to have a decent look at them which is nice finally getting some players in although their positions needed changing for sure but uh scov is uh is in behind here and actually fernino could be in and Fernino. Oh, and it's oh oh. Allison has recovered really well. Made a bit of a mess of that. To be honest, we could have got the shots away a lot quicker than we did. But we're coming forward. Arroyo find Ben Doak along to Kessie and he tried to. That's a finish. Who's that? Is that Zobersly? That's an absolutely outrageous finish. It is Zobersly with his back to goal. Just turns outwards, and curls that with his weaker foot. And it's just like he didn't even need to look where the goal was. That's a superb finish off the other side of the bar. Nothing you could do about goals like that. That's just pure quality from Dominic Zobers. Like, really well works from Liverpool. Now, Doak played up to Moyes Keane. Let me change to the right person. That game, man. Oh, it's the second for Liverpool, but if the game lets me change to the right player, then we try and negate that. But that was far too easy from a defensive point of view. Offside. Apparently not. Keane's onside, it's 3 0. The defence splitting pass, and Moyes Keane. I thought for all the world he was offside. Oh, maybe not then. Lovely finish. 3-0, Liverpool torn us apart at home and away. There goes a full-time whistle. Not really a lot happened after their third goal, to be honest. We had a couple of shots that Alisson saved, but just get me out of that game. On to the next one. Oh, Arsenal away. Doesn't get any easier, does it? Right, press conference ahead of the Arsenal game then. Let's see if we can't raise morale a bit before this trip. To London, just a few games left. Can you steer clear of trouble? Um, I mean... We're probably already safe, but we'll just say we can't stop now. Um, trying to amass as many points as possible. We'll be making changes. Let's not panic. The last performance wasn't great, but Liverpool are a very good side. Can you turn Arsenal over again? The lads can't wait to get out there. Can imagine turn them over at the Emirates as well as at home. We've done the double over Chelsea and Newcastle this season. Certainly not out the realms of possibility. <laughs> For the final game of the episode then, this is how our host Arsenal line up. Ramsdale in goal, a back for Timber, Garcia, Kivior and Nuno Mendes. Kimmich holding with Jorginho and Odegaard ahead of them. Saka on the right, Jesus leading the line with Martinelli on the left. They've only really got Havertz on the bench, but that is still an outrageous um, starting lineup. We've made one change, uh, Nino not quite fit enough to start. We've brought Franco in and put Salah up top so hopefully we can cause Arsenal 
a few problems with the little Italian up top trying to get in behind, of course. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a tricky one trying to keep these lot quiet, that's for sure, especially given the performance that we put in against Liverpool. And Jorginho skipped past his man. And, yeah, inside four minutes, Martin Erdegaard has put Arsenal ahead. That was all rather easy, wasn't it? Me head starting to fall off now, but it's a lovely finish from Odegaard. We try and get a man in the way, but just, yeah, lovely. On his weaker foot as well. He's played it forward to Salah. He's going to have a run at Garcia, but he's done well to stay with him. Oh, Franca. He's got a bit of space, you know. Oh, Mateus Franca out of nothing has drawn Sheffield Wednesday level. A rare appearance at this moment in time, certainly from the start for Mateus Franca. But lovely piece of play, managed to avoid Kivior, got himself the space and has popped that into the far corner. Lovely composed bit of play from the Brazilian. 1-1 unexpectedly. Saka down his right hand side. Back to, that's well, Nuno Mendes actually, that's a lovely reverse ball. Jorginho has flashed that into the near post and Arsenal retain their lead. They weren't level for long, less than 10 minutes, but Jorginho with a lovely strike. But it's all about the reverse pass from Nuno Mendes. Just, just didn't spot it whatsoever, Jorginho. Trafford has done his best so far in this game, but can't stop a strike like that. Beaten by the sheer power and pace of the strike. Although Barrios could be in it. Amy Barrios. Oh, I tried to skip round Garcia, but it's good defending. Feinsberg. Lovely play. Pires. Oh. Just took it on his wrong foot. Tried to cut inside and did it with his right. If he'd have stayed out in the channel that was free, he could have taken it on his left. But good defending in the end from Arsenal. But oh, a lovely piece of play. And a good finish from Martinelli. And that's game over now. 3 1 to Arsenal just before the hour. Just defence splitting play. Not really a lot you can do. Odegaard at the heart of it. Patterson just falling asleep, allowing his man to cut across him. It's a great finish. 4-1, Gabby Martinelli with a second. And again, Arsenal just make it look really easy. Five one. 5-1. I don't even know who scored that goal, actually. It's Timber, maybe? Just tore us apart from a short corner. Martinelli's bearing down on goal and then he just slots it back for Timber. It's easy, 5 1, and I hate my life. Oh, for God's sake. Six. Really unfortunate. There's a strike from Odegaard that's just fallen straight back to him. But, uh,. I've just given up now. We literally cannot do anything. Any time I get the ball forward, I try and just pass it. Intercepted, tackled, literally, you name it. Salah's offside there. Yep. Seven. I literally, like, just getting unlucky as well with just bounces and stuff. Like... Oh my god, this is awful. Just like, look, it's just bounces again, just falling to them. Bounces straight, fall back to that, like, just. There you go, god. See you next time.